Look at the look at the mutton chops on this guy. Oh, this guy's awesome. I love this guy. Red hair and mutton chops. Look at him. You you know what, dude? You eat all the berries you want. Eat those berries. Go ahead and eat those berries, my man. What's up, Hearthlings? This is KJ48, and welcome to our brand new Let's Play for Stone Hearth Alpha 21. All right, this is going to be season two. I've played this game before, but it's been a while, so let me just give you a brief synopsis on what this game is about. Stone Hearth is a game of exploration, survival, and an epic fantasy setting. Build your own town, care for your Hearthlings, and defend against marauding invaders. So basically, it's a super cute town building game, and we will be attacked at points. Let's get started. New game. All right. This is the story of a brave band of settlers. We can either take the Ascendancy or Rhea's children. You could read that if you like. I've already read it, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Ascendancy. I like green. The Ascendancy, a prosperous and industrious kingdom. Seeking new lands and adventure. They set off to temperate or desert. Now, I'm not sure why you would choose desert, but assuming this Let's Play does well and there will be a season three, um, maybe I'll choose desert next time. But for now, I'm just going to take temperate. Set off a dark, uh, to Darkmoor Forest. I can't read the rest. Now we can have Peaceful with no monsters. We can have Normal with, you know, a normal challenge. Or we can have Hard. Now, I'm not an expert at this game, but I also don't want, you know, Peaceful mode. So we're just going to go with Normal. All right. Um, they set off to Darkmoor Forest. Why would you want to go to Darkmoor Forest? Look at this. Look at these guys. They, look, we got a farmer here just and, and, and a warrior. And they're scared. Look at them. Look at their eyes. You can tell. Anime. They're scared. That, that tells us all we need to know. A location that is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. I don't know, Darkmoor Forest does not sound like an inspiring place, but let's go ahead and select our roster anyway. All right, guys, here we are. We've got our party. I'm not going to bother reading these names, and I'll tell you why. Because I am going to be changing these names to people's names from the comments. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, you guys on the first the first video, go ahead and leave some comments about whatever. Don't You know, you could say, hey, name me after this guy or not if you want. But, you know, make comments on the video, you know, whether you like the game, whether you don't, uh, if you have any tips or anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly pick names out of the comments and name these people after my commenters. It's going to be totally random, uh, so don't get mad if you don't get picked. It's just a completely random thing. All right, so let's get started here. So we've got this person right here. I got, I'm not going to read the names because that's not their names. Okay, so we have three stats for each hearthling. Mind. The ability to think intelligently. A high mind stat allows a hearthling to excel at complex mental activities such as crafting. Influences dialect, curiosity, and in inventiveness. So basically, mind is your crafters. Okay? Then you have body. Okay? Um, competence at physical activities. Hearthlings with a, with a high body stat will uh, move a bit faster, attack harder, and live longer. Influences muscle, speed, and stamina. So that's going to be your warriors, your, your defenders. Okay? Then you have spirit. All right, faith in other people. A high spirited, a high spirit hearthling will easily befriend animals and stand strong against enemies. Influences courage, willpower, and compassion. Now, the cool thing about spirit is it, it makes for a good fighter as well. So body and spirit is a good is a good combo for fighters. But spirit will also help you um, herd animals. There's some kind of animal husbandry thing going on, and you're gonna want high spirit for that. And then you have other things down here, like these are like the traits. You've got glutton. Uh, stomach might as well be a portal into nut. Okay, so they eat a lot. Then you have um, heart of a crafter. Uh, loves crafting things for others. If they don't make at least one thing a day, they will feel, feel a day wasted. All right, so that doesn't work well with the mind thing. So that's a bit of a problem there. I'm not going to re-roll these guys constantly though, to get the perfect stats. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, this person has courageous. Uh, loves to save others and puts... Okay, so this person, 4-4 four, four, and courageous. Um, that would be a good combo for a fighter. You know, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to go through these too long. Uh, I'm not going to take too long to go through these, but let's just look at them really quickly. Um, a day really begins once the sun is set, so they're a night owl. This person's excitable. Can never seem to keep their emotions in check so they become happy or sad much faster than normal. Uh, right here we have cultist. This hearthling keeps mumbling about some secret bunny god uh, sleeping et <laughs> eternally. What's that all about? I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know what that's going to mean to that hearthling, but that's pretty freaking funny. Um, excitable, we already went over that one. This one's courageous, we went over that one. Green thumb means they're good at farming. And we've got another courageous person here. So we've got a, we've got a lot of courageous people. That's good. And uh, you can change your stats up here. I think you can... Oh, yeah, you can change your gender. We're not going to do any of that. We're going to stick with what we got. You can randomize appearance. Okay, so that's it. Let's accept the roster. 
and let's choose our starting resources. So we got food for days. All right, large amount of food cramped into the back of a caravan. Should keep the hearthlings going for a handful of days. Okay, so a safe option for new players, uh, though lacking in defense. You start with a farmer. Basically, in order to make a uh, 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 a job for these people like if you want to make a farmer you need a tool to go along with it and the farming tool is the hoe so you start off with a hoe you start off with berries carrots jerky and gold or you could do the merchant caravan uh, a collection of trade tools should give the settlement a leg up in the wilderness um, a good collection of crafting skills but short on food so here we start with a trapper a trapping knife a footman sword, which, uh, that, that's a trapper. I'm not sure exactly what the trapper does. I mean, I'm guessing they just go out and trap animals. I don't know beyond that, you know, what, what, how they work. And an herbalist. Herbalist, again, I'm not really sure. The footman is going to give you a warrior. Uh, and you have money saves all problems. Anything that towns need, they should be able to purchase from a trader. Okay, a risky but potentially very beneficial choice. It all depends on when and what the traders arrive. Okay, again, I hope you guys really enjoy this Let's Play. I want to do many more of this because I really like this game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go food for days and maybe next step, maybe next season, we can do Merchant Caravan and, you know, we'll see what else. And also, this game is in early access. Uh, we have some more stuff coming soon. Let's get started. All right, so now we're looking for our world seed. Uh, that's a pretty interesting seed right there. I don't really mind it. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, by the way, here's the, here's the world seed down here. If you guys would like to play along, if you own this game, it is on steam. I think it's $25, $25. All right. So this doesn't look half bad here. Um, or maybe right here. Yeah. Let's start right here. Okay. Settle here. Oh, there was stuff in the bottom right hand side of the screen. I didn't look at. There's certain stuff in certain areas where you have more trees or or less resources or something. And it was in the bottom right hand side. You might want to rewind the video and go check that out if you missed it, um, because I, I wasn't like, what is this? Okay, so I'm not sure what this is. This looks like it might be a place where enemies spawn, though. <laughs> so why don't maybe get away from that a little bit? Uh, I think up here is not bad. Got the mountains up here, which is pretty cool. Um, I like being around trees, so I can cut down trees. Um, Q and E rotates around. Mouse wheel scrolls in and out. And this is not a lot of building area, but I think it will be okay. Let's put the flag right here. So you click the flag, and you put it right there. And this is where we're starting. What should we call our town? Um, East Bumble Fudge. It's supposed to be East Bumble F word, but family friendly. All right. All right, so let's get started here. Okay, guys, we're back. We had a bit of a mishap. I had a bit of a mishap. Um, some uh, technical errors while recording. I had to restart the world. This is a different seed. Um, if you guys care about the seed, let me know in the comments. I'll find it for you. It should be somewhere in my folders. Um, but other than that, uh, we have new pl new guys as well. But, you know, still, we're, uh, we're in a new seed, new guys, but it's all the same stuff. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is chop down some trees. So let's go ahead and click on harvest and cut down some trees. So I think uh, that should go right there. You can only uh, choose so big of an area. So there we go. Cut that. It looks like we got a tree inside the wall, a couple trees inside the wall. Should not be too much of an issue. And uh, we'll cut down some more over here as well. There we go. All right, guys, start cutting down some trees. Press number two to get them started, and they will start cutting down some trees. Now, they're going to cut down trees, and there's going to be logs all over the place and all that stuff, and what we need to do is we need to give them a place to store all of the logs. So we need a storage area. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right over here, and we are going to make a storage... Uh, we're going to use designated zones, and we're going to pick stockpile, and we're going to make the biggest stockpile we can... Oh, you're supposed to hold the button. <clears throat> well, uh, remove the stockpile. There we go. And let's make a new one. Hold down the button. There we go. We can make a 20 by 17. 20 by 20. There we go. And this is what's really cool about this game. One of the many reasons that are really cool about this game is you could choose down to the smallest detail what you want to put in your stockpiles. I love that. I know it's like a small thing, but I don't know. It makes me happy. So now we're going to go ahead and cut down some more trees over here. Uh, some more trees right here. The, the box thing is a little weird. I can never tell which way it's going to go. I could just click on the trees, I guess. Did that work? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can just click on the trees. It's almost just as easy. Anyway, while they're doing their thing, we're going to go right ahead right here, and we are going to assign a job. And again, these are all new people. Again, I will pick names random in the comments and rename these people. So we're looking for someone who is going to maybe have the 
Heart of the Crafter thing. Okay. I think a couple of these people have Heart of the, Cra Heart of the Crafter. Yeah. Uh, no, I guess just one. And you're looking for little hammers. No, I guess just one. Okay. So, Heart of the Crafter 533. That makes a good crafter. Let's go ahead and go to the Change Jobs tab. And we're going to pick... Why do I have... That's weird. We'll get into that in a moment. Anyway, I'm going to go to the jobs tab and we are going to pick this one right here. And that's the carpenter. We're going to make them a carpenter. They will level up as they carpent, uh, <laughs> as they build stuff. Um, and we do have a carpenter saw as part of our starting items. And we're going to go ahead and approve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So the carpenter is going to go over there and pick up the saw. And now he's a carpenter. Oh, look at this guy. He's got to be Irish. All right. So... Now we have a carpenter. So the carpenter needs a workbench. Everyone needs workbenches, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and pick uh, the carpenter's workbench. And you can craft one right now. You can craft multiple ones. Or you can maintain. I really love the maintain thing. Because let's say you have, like, four swords. And you want to keep, like, four swords in your armory at all times. You know? Just in case you need swords. You could set it up to maintain four swords. And if, some, if there's four swords in there and someone goes and grabs a sword, the carpenter will automatically... Click into action and make the extra sword. I love that. And it'll do it with anything. Like, you can maintain whatever you want. All right. So, we got the crafting workbench there. So, we're going to need a place for these guys to sleep. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to come into the build and design part. You can make your own buildings if you want. I'm not going to get into that just yet. I want to get back into the game before I go crazy with that kind of stuff. You can make a carpenter's house, cottage for two, dining hall, uh, shared sleeping quarters, tiny college. So, they're going to need places to sleep. So I think we're going to make a shared sleeping quarters, and I think we will make it right here. This will tell you exactly what you need for the shared sleeping quarters. You need wood, chairs, window frames, beds, wooden dressers, doors, and lanterns. So we're going to go to build it. You can rotate with the um, comma and period key. And I think that's a pretty good spot for it. It's pretty good. So you place it down, and it places it down. You can edit, you can save it, remove it, or build. I want to go ahead and build it. There you go. You can even pause the building if you want, and people will go ahead and start building. And the cool thing is our carpenter... Oh, you got to place the carpenter's bench, by the way. You see it right there? If you have something you want to place and you don't see it on the in there, and you don't see it in like your stockpile or anywhere in the world, there is an actual place option. Here we go. Place item. Workbench. There we go. Rotate. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put the workbench right there. And someone should go place it. And then once the work, once the workbench is placed, the carpenter will automatically start making the beds and the chairs and the windows and stuff for this thing. Uh, for this, um, this is gonna hold four people, by the way. I think we have eight hearthlings. Look at these guys go. Look at these guys go. I'm not a big like cutesy, cutesy wootsy guy, but this game, this game is just cute enough for me without like, you know, giving me diabetes. It's just sweet enough without you know, giving me diabetes. So I like it. I like it a lot. I like I like the aesthetic. This game is this game is actually quite polished, but it it's weird. It's polished in a way where it does cool things that no other games do. Like I love the scaffolding, and I think that's really cool. But it also has some really killer bugs. Like I mean, serious serious bug issues. Um, it doesn't play well with OBS either. But I love the game. I'm gonna make it work. I hope you guys like the uh, the season because I'd really like to make more of these videos. Um, I'm trying to get into. Um, town builders. They never do well on my channel, but I really like them. <laughs> All right, so these guys are going. Let's go ahead and speed this up. They're going to keep doing their thing. We're going to come over into the... We're going to click the crafters button, and we're going to go into the carpenter's craft menu. And we're going to look for other things we can make. So we can now make a practice sword. So let's queue up two practice swords. That's going to allow us to make fighters to defend ourselves. And the other thing I want to make is a farmer's hoe. Unfortunately, he's got to be carpenter level two. And he's carpenter level one, because I think you need to be carpenter level one to make the sword you start off at zero by the way so all right so they're building that um this uh, buildings can kind of walls can get in the way of buildings so what you could do here is you can go to building vision and you kind of take down the walls kind of like sim style you know so i like that i'll keep the walls down so we can see what's in, what is that? is that oh they're putting chairs oh look he's sitting in a chair he's eating he's eating in the chair oh look at him he's got blueberries what are those actually i don't know oh he's that was awesome. I should have slowed down the game. That made me very happy. Way more happy than it makes sense, but I don't know. I just kind of really enjoyed that. So he was eating a basket of berries. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, look. Oh, look. They're all sitting there because they don't have a lot of chairs, I guess. They're all sitting there eating their berries. Oh, look at them. Look at these two sitting so close. I think they're a thing. Wait, are these two guys? 
Well, let me know, guys. I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. It's got pretty long... It. It's got pretty long hair. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I kind of want to know about the genders. I, I actually want to know about that because when I name people, I want to name them the proper genders. If there's someone in the comments that I find that's a girl, I want to, you know, name them with a girl player and vice versa. So, all right. So they right there, we got ghost images of the beds. We've got some chairs. This is looking good. Uh, let's take a look at what the crafter's doing. Um, the crafter has a list here. You can also go to the orders page and see what he's doing. He's crafting the dressers. Then he's going to do the doors and that stuff. Um, okay, so the beds are actually made. They're just not placed. So this is the order of stuff that he will craft. There we go. The beds are getting placed. we got to make another one of these because we have eight hearthlings, like I said. And I think we're going to make another, another shared sleeping quarters. All right, there we go. All right, so how do we make these? All right, so how close can I get these? So it looks like I can put them pretty close, but... Maybe we want to leave some space in there for possible roads or whatever. I don't know. Let me see. That's as close as they can get. So that means there shouldn't be any space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven spots. Build it. Make it happen. Get to work, guys. We might be a little low on wood. It seems like we do not have a lot of wood over here. That's an easy fix, though. Let's go ahead. There are hotkeys for these harvest things, but I don't know. It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick to just click them. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and chop down some more trees for that one. And uh, they're going to have a lot of work to do. So let's speed this up a little bit. And let's take a look at our crafter and see what level um, they are. Alright, so you can also make a carpenter tool bench, which allows you to make more intricate items. So we're going to go ahead and make one of those. We can make the farmer's hoe, which I'm going to make one of those because I want a farmer. Um, we can make a storage wood pile. Um, let's go ahead and try one of those. Um, we can make a crate. Let's go ahead and make a crate, and that will keep you busy for quite a while. All right, so actually, let's take a look at their queue. I didn't look at their queue. Oh, my God. They, oh, look at this. Look at the orders. Oh, poor whatever your name is. Um, geez. Okay, so we got a trader. Okay, we didn't we didn't catch the last, last trader, which was a mistake. When a trader comes in, anytime something interesting happens, you click on the exclamation point down here, and a trader approaches your town. Hello, East Bumble Fudge. I'm just passing through, but I'll be willing to make a trade or two if you're interested. Um, if you make me eight wooden doors, I'll be back in two days and might be able to get you two wooden garden lanterns. Um, okay, I don't really know what the point of that is. Uh, I'm going to decline. I, I don't mind doing it. It's just my carpenter's really busy. You know, I'll accept it. And if I don't make it, who cares? My carpenter's pretty busy. That's the only thing. Um, so we got some beds down here. This place is looking about done. Let's put the walls up completely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. I, it looks like they're just about done. It looks like they're just putting in the windows and stuff. And then they will um, take down the scaffolding. They might actually be taking down the scaffolding now. No, there's no door yet. Okay. Look at this guy go. Look at this guy go. Look at the mutton chops. Look at the, look at the mutton chops on this guy. Oh, this guy's awesome. I love this guy. Red hair and mutton chops. Look at him. You, you know what, dude? You eat all the berries you want. Eat those berries. Go ahead and eat those berries, my man. All right, just got a possible screenshot. Uh, daily update. Okay, so immigration report. Day two. Okay, we got to look into this. Day two of Deep Mun, uh, 1,000. East Bumble Fudge population is seven. Next hearthling requirements. Uh, we need a certain amount of food and a certain amount of net worth. We got both of them that we could take an extra hearthling in or not. Um, we will accept it. It. We will accept them uh, into our wonderful, wonderful town. Okay. We got mutton chops over here. We got little Miss Miss Little Miss Pr Prissy Fancy Pants right there. What are what are? Oh, they have both the same hair. No, they don't have the same hairstyle. This one's got a little uh, ponytail. So, oh, I love these hearthlings. They just look awesome. Oh, look at this bald guy. Look at this guy. He's like, oh man, I'm bald. What of it? They do they? Uh, they have a lot of a lot of mutton chops in this town. Look at this. Look at this house. This house looks nice. Oh, look at the door. Oh, man, simple things, right? It's the simple things that make me happy. All right, so they're going to go uh, build that next one. Let's go ahead and speed it up. And, oh, no, actually, let's not speed it up. I think what we need to do is we need to set up a farmer now. So let's see if we have anyone with green thumb. I think we do. There we go. Um, two, three, six. Now, I don't know if mind matters for your farmer. I don't know, honestly. Let's see if we have anyone else with green thumb. Oh, we have another one. Four, 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 three, six. Okay. You know what? Let's make you the um, let's make you the farmer. 
All right, farmer's house. Do we have two farmer's house? Because I thought we had another one. I don't know where it came from. Let's take a look. All right, so she's... Oh, little ponytail girl's gonna go get the farm thing. Gonna go get the hoe. Get it, yeah! Farmer for days, people! All right, before we do anything else, let's set up some farms, actually. Um, I think we'll set up the farms behind the base or on the other side. Nah, let's set it up over here. Okay. So, farm. A farm are, is considered a design, designated zone. Uh, so, we got one right here, and we will just make it as big as possible because reasons. Um, 11 by 11 sounds good. Then you get to choose what you want. You could do fallow. I mean, we're not going to do fallow right now. Fallow is not a plant. It's basically letting the soil renew. We could do turnips, which is a fast-growing staple crop, but not particularly nutritious or delicious. Pumpkins, big, round, fast-growing, but not tasty. And then we got fast-growing, but pretty bland. It's tasty. Okay, so all these seem about the same. I'm going to go with carrots because, you know, whatever. And we now have a farm going, so that's good. Because we got to start watching out for food. Um, it looks like we're using about all of our wood, I think. Let's take a look at the... Okay, so this... Can they not mine? Okay, so certain people can't do certain things. I wonder if... They, they, I wonder if, okay, so I don't think these people could do certain things because they have jobs. I think these people could do whatever. So they'll haul, build, mine, or job. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to continue building this house until they have no more wood and then they're going to chop down trees, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want. All right, another thing we want to do is give a job to a warrior. Let's see if we have any, okay, so that's night owl crafting. What is this? Optimistic. Uh, always looks on the bright side. Okay, okay, that's good. And herbivore. All right, doesn't like to eat animals, I guess. All right, so we got that. What is this? Cultist. We know what cultist is. Um, callus. Keeps everyone at arm's length. This helps them to not be hurt as much when tragedy occurs. Uh, but their consistent guard, guarded composure makes us slow to make friends. Okay. Um, what is this? Hot-headed. Okay. Never voluntarily backs down from a fight. Okay, so 4-6. That might make a good fighter right there. That might make... You know what? He probably looks like the best fighter of the group. Alright, so what we're going to do is hot-headed and callous. You are going to be our footman. By the way, everyone levels up in this game, which is cool. All of the job characters level up. Okay, so I don't remember how footmen work exactly. Alright, so we can do um, manage party. So you could put you could put footmen, footmen into one party if you have multiple footmen. Uh, move to location... Attack move, attack specific target or location, um, defend location, or cancel combat order. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure what he's going to do. Can I, like, uh, what is this? Basic combat training. Um, increases courage, increases courage through hours of combat training. Okay. Can I have him do that? Or? Where is he? Can I, can I center on him? Hmm. I can't seem to center. Is there a way to... Center on the person. Okay, so there. Oh, here's there. He's tired. Um, okay, so it looks like these are the negatives and these are the pluses as far as how content they are. Um, my meal was raw. Okay, and they're tired. Potential uh, pioneer spirit. I think this is. Uh, yeah, this is how long they last, by the way. Um, a tasty. Ate a tasty meal. Okay, cool. Is there any way to center on him? That's what I want to do. I want to be able to find him quickly. But I don't know how to do that. Maybe I'll, ch I'll check that out in between videos. Alright, so let's have him defend a location. There you go. Defend that location. Now where is he? Where's where's the footman? Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, okay. I don't see I don't see him having a sword though. Oh, you know what? I have to actually make him a sword. Just because just be, that that like practice sword is only ceremonial. It's 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 to let you know that he is a defender, but it's not going to help him defend anything. Can I actually make any swords? All right, guys, I was mistaken. The practice sword actually does count as a sword. It makes sense. The hoe counts as a hoe to to till the land. This the the carpenter's saw counts as a saw to saw through things. I don't know why I thought the practice sword didn't count. But what you do is you come right down here to the character uh, citizens and you go to your footman and you go to character sheet. Then you go to equipment and you can see right here he does have a wooden sword. And it even shows you the attack it does. I really, really appreciate that. That is really cool. I'm going to make him a shield. I've got a lot of things to do next uh, episode. 
man, there's a lot to do in this game. I really enjoy this game. I hope you guys do too. Um, if you want to see more, uh, please leave the likes and the comments. Let me know how you feel about the game. If you like it, if you love it, if you hate it, you know, whatever. And if you're not sure about these town builder games, give them a chance because there's actually quite, a, I know, I know a lot of people on my channel are here for survival stuff. There's a lot of survival stuff in these town builder games. And, um, I definitely would like to, uh, you know, do better with them. I want people to watch them more because I want to make more of them because they're really fun. So anyway, guys, I'm going to call this one here. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.